Hey everybody, it's Lethal Air, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Pavohot Mouse Excel Utility. I'm gonna explain all of the numbers, what they do, and the ones I use and the ones that I avoid. First, if you haven't already, go down into the link in the description of this video. There is a Mega NZ download. It's gonna take you directly to a download landing page. I've already done it. As you can see, I've done it a few times. Extract the zipped folder to your desktop. Once you have that folder in your desktop, you're gonna open it up. The first thing that you do, you're going to open the driver folder. If you have file name extensions enabled, it may show BAT and EXE. If you don't, it's just gonna say driver underscore install and the uninstall. You're gonna run this program as an admin. And once you do that, that's when the driver's enabled. It's gonna prompt you to restart Windows, but don't restart quite yet. Next up, you're gonna go into either the 64 or 32 bit folder and you're going to right click, enter GYEXE. This is the step that most people mess up. If you don't run this program as admin every time it launches, it just won't work. So right click, go to properties, compatibility, and check run this program as an administrator. Once you do that, hit apply and okay. The next step is sort of an ease of access thing, but go ahead and right click it again and make sure that you pin it to taskbar. I already have it pinned, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Unpin it and pin it. That way when you go down to your taskbar, it's already here for you to click once. When you launch this for the first time, what you're gonna have to do is go into either the configuration wizard or just go ahead and manually set your refresh rate and your mouse DPI. So I've already done that. As you can see, I'm already on 400 DPI and 1000 Hertz. Before we change any of your settings or before I give any advice, make sure that you go into your search window, type in mouse. You're gonna click on additional mouse options under the pointer tab and uncheck pointer precision. It might be a thought in your head that, hey, you know, since I'm using mouse Excel, then maybe I need to enable mouse Excel. But that specific setting is Windows mouse Excel driver and you don't want that enabled. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's go through the numbers one by one. The sensitivity is something you don't need to touch. Just leave it at default, no explanation. Acceleration is going to describe this linear rise right here. And I say linear because down in your power settings, you could change it to quadratic, which is exponential. But when you have a curved acceleration, visually smoother on the graph, but it's not going to feel smooth at all. It's going to feel kind of out of control. Next up is the sensitivity cap, and that basically describes this line right here. Now, the reason why my sensitivity cap says 155 is simply because in my post scale, it is 100th. I'm gonna show you what the graph looks like whenever I disable the driver, and it gives you a flat blue line, a flat, no Excel, whatever sensitivity you have, that's what this is gonna be. So the post scale describes how far down this starts. If the post scale was one, then it would start at the blue line. Because this post scale is at 0 0.01, then it starts way down here. Your effective mouse sensitivity can be calculated by multiplying this number by your DPI. My effective DPI is 600. This is where everything gets a little bit complicated. Whenever you're moving your mouse in small circles like such, this is the zero to five range, zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is mouse movement in a single update and it's basically going to describe the velocity of your hand. Your hand speed and acceleration is gonna be determined by these number settings. From zero to five, this is what zero to five movement looks like. If you're using an AR to aim or you're tracking and you're trying to snipe someone, these micro adjustments, zero to five, you're barely gonna notice your Excel. Now five to 15, that is gonna be capped out. That's why I say you're not gonna notice your Excel. Anything above five is 600 DPI on this graph. Anything below five is gonna have Excel to it. 
So if you're like me and you love the benefits of high sensitivity, but you also like the accuracy of low sensitivity, this is the graph for you. One of the downsides of having high sensitivity in games is that the higher your sensitivity, the worse your aim gets, especially in games like Fortnite for building and editing, it's great. But for shooting, your aim starts to become shaky. And this is why I sought out using Pavo Hot Mouse Excel. With this acceleration curve, it's almost as if I have a lower sensitivity all the way up until I don't. My advice to new users is don't mess with anything above 10. Anything above 10 is your medium to fast hand movement speed. Anything below 10 is fair game. You can completely disable the post scale by selecting one. Whatever you place in the post scale box is gonna correspond to what's on this graph. In closing, I wanna leave you with a few troubleshooting tips in case so far this hasn't worked for you. I'm just gonna run you through a checklist of things that I encountered my first time. If after watching this video, you still have some trouble, I'll make a video in order to answer those questions. The most important tip is that you cannot close this program. If you hit the X, then the program's not working. You can, however, minimize the program and it's not gonna go down to the taskbar, it's actually gonna be in the system tray. So open that up, right click it and hit show settings and there it is again if you wanna change anything. Tip number two and the reason why I told you to extract this file to your desktop, if you have the driver enabled box checked and your mouse doesn't feel different, if you've changed various settings and it still feels exactly the same, then there's a good chance that your computer did not properly install the driver. What you can do to fix this is either restart Windows because you may have not restarted it yet, or you can go into the driver folder, make sure that you right click and run as admin. Now, if you've done that and it's still not working, then go ahead and right click and uninstall it, run it as admin as well. What you can do once you've restarted Windows is to then double click on install interception.exe. And this program will auto install it. The only three numbers that you'll ever need to change are the acceleration, the sensitivity cap, and possibly the post scale. Now, I'll show you what it looks like if you place an offset. I'll use one of the numbers that are on the graph. If I type in 10 on the offset and hit preview changes, all it's gonna do is move this sensitivity over to here. Um, you could possibly use a minor offset like one or two. In my experience, using an offset is very uncomfortable to adjust to. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable the offset completely by putting a zero. If you're still watching this video, you're gonna be very glad that you are. In the settings menu, you're gonna make sure that lock post scale, scale Excel with post scale, and scale sense cap with post scale are all checked. One, two, three, four. And the reason is, if I were to change the post scale to one, for example, and then I hit preview changes, it's going to scale everything else with it. So as you can see, this number was previously 36, now it's 0.36. This number was 155 and now it's 1.55. Whether or not these are checked by default, I'm not sure, but make sure all four of these are checked. This allows me to change the post scale to any number that I want. I could change it to 100 and then hit preview and save and it's still gonna keep the same sense cap. What this allows me to do is lock in a certain effective mouse sensitivity or EDPI. The sensitivity cap scales whenever I change the post scale. So once you have all of these locked, then you can change whatever you want. I can change the post scale to 10, and then these numbers are going to scale to reflect that. If I change the post scale back to what I had, which is 0 0.01, and I hit preview and save, it's also gonna affect that change because these numbers are now back to 36 and 155. If this video helped you, let me know by leaving a like. Hopefully I've provided a detailed enough troubleshooting process. I have a mixer channel, I'll leave that link as well. Once I have my setup arranged, I will begin streaming again. I look forward to seeing you over there sometime, but we'll definitely catch you in the next video. Peace.